I'm on the east entrance to Angkor Wat, which some may say is the back door, but others would disagree. This is the east entrance, and on this side of the temple is the most famous and amazing bas relief. It's uh, the most, the number one important story in Khmer culture. Every Khmer person knows this story. So let's go and see it. So I've just entered Angkor Wat and I've come in through the East Gate and I am about to share with you what is the most famous bas relief in the entire Angkor Wat complex. This bas relief tells the story of an ancient Hindu myth and this story is central to Khmer culture and the bas relief demonstrates or shows to us in art form the stirring or churning of the ocean and if we come here we come here we can see on this side we have the divas in the center is mount mudara and on this side we have the asuras so these these deities represent the good the good divas and the the asuras are evil and what happened was the, the divas wanted to have access to the elixir of life and which gave them immortality. And they went to Vishnu and Vishnu said to them, you have to work with the asuras. This was not something they wanted to do, but because Vishnu had guided them, they realized that it was something they had to do. So they sat down together and they discussed it and they decided to go ahead and jointly try to retrieve the elixir of life. And they did this by using Mount Madura as the the rod, the, the wooden spoon that stirred the pot and, and the serpent Vesuka who was the king of the Nagas, absolute high supreme uh, Naga king, he agreed to be the rope that they would use to, to stir and, it was, and he wrapped around Mount Madura and they began to pull and they pulled and it churned and it churned and it churned and it churned. But then it became very unstable at one point. And so Vishnu sent his avatar, the turtle. You see the turtle here underneath to create stability. Maybe you can see a story unfolding here of a battle uh, between good and evil uh, coming together and working together. But it all began to fall apart towards the end of the story. And halfway through, actually, the, the Naga, the king of the Nagas, he... He, because he's caught around this mountain, right, that's being pulled, 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 pulled. He spat out all the venom and it was about to destroy everyone, all of this venom. Uh, but Shiva came to the rescue. Shiva came to the rescue and this is why you, one of the reasons you will see the Hindu god Shiva with the snakes wrapped around his neck. So Shiva is a destroyer, but Shiva is also a preserver. Um, so where are we in this story? <laughs> and they're pulling and they're pulling and they're pulling and they've been saved by Shiva. And they have access now to the elixir of life. So there's a lot of stories that have sprung from this story and I will share them with you shortly.
it's early morning. I arrived at 5.30 and already tourists are, are, are coming in. It's just beautiful here. So east, we're looking out, um, looking out over the east gate of Angkor Wat. So Just over my right shoulder is the iconic palm trees which you will see everywhere in Cambodia across the Khmer Empire, past and present. Um, so other people also see the churning of the waters as a representation of, uh, in a very spiritual way, the forces on a micro level that operate within each human being, the battle that we all have that is very human between dark and light and we choose which way to go. And also on the world stage, the challenges that are happening on the world stage in the past and certainly in the present of the forces of the dark and the light and how perhaps in the end we need to harmonize I'm here at the east side and right behind me is the gallery that contains the bas relief for the churning of the waters. And as I mentioned earlier, there are several different interpretations of this story. Those who practice yoga have a story that relates to the churning of the waters and also Practitioners of Ayurvedic medicine have a story that relates to the churning of the waters. They say that the churning of the waters released the jug that held Ayurvedic medicine. The churning of the waters is a Hindu myth. It's an ancient Hindu myth and it's interpreted in Cambodia as being a battle between the forces of dark and light, the Asuras, the evil, and the Devatas, the good. It's a tug of war and a story of them coming together to release the elixir from the ocean of milk. I'm still at the east wall of Angkor Wat and we are just about to leave and have breakfast but I noticed that somebody has left an offering here to the Naga and the same on the other side they have left offerings of the lotus. So uh, the interpretations that I shared are just some that I found of this myth the churning of the ocean and the, the way that it is followed in Khmer culture and perhaps you have a different interpretation of this myth. Please feel free to share it in the comments below or disagree with me. I'm easy. I'd love to hear. Thank you. Amitofo.